I was going to start working on that uh, drill check arbor and uh, the first thing I needed to do was line up the uh, top slide again but uh, when I had the uh, slides apart I also cleaned up this uh, bolt here on the uh, grinder and I shouldn't have done that because now it feels like I'm going to strip the head off and if that happens I probably won't get it out anymore because it's not possible uh, to get the nut out from this side um, using a uh, socket so it looks like uh, the screw arbor has to wait a little longer uh, because I'm going to um, shrink the nut over here and also this one over here so I can use a uh, 24 millimeter spanner and the 26 can go back to the uh, other lathe where it uh, fits So I can hear you guys think, why not buy a, a couple of new nuts? Well, I live in a metric part of the world and I don't know any uh, local stores that sell uh, imperial nuts. And uh, to be honest, it's hard enough these days to buy anything bigger than uh, M12 offline. Sure, I could uh, order some, but uh, that would take time and uh, I would end up paying a lot more on shipping than the nuts would cost and then uh, my metric spanner still wouldn't fit so I uh, choose to spend my evening converting these old nuts into uh, imperial metric hybrids make the lathe ready for the uh, fully metric world that is uh, coming and uh, last but not least I get to try out my uh, little four jaw chuck for the first time it's a bit strange that these uh, imperial nuts are uh, a perfect fit for a 25 millimeter spanner and it's even stranger that I don't have any 25 millimeter spanner I have at least three or four sets that go to 32 millimeter but uh, 25 is not among them as you can see it's difficult to uh, fit these uh, inside this little four jaw so I made some shims This side is a bit uh, convex, so I'll uh, do that one first. Damn gravity. I think that uh, should work out fine. I'm going to have to use the uh, slides from my other lathe. It's a good thing they are uh, interchangeable. It uh, looks like I lied this bed uh, is a bit lower but uh, it fits the way so we should be fine I think I am uh, about ready um, I'm going to take off half a millimeter maybe a bit less I'm using this old uh, dial indicator to uh, regulate my uh, depth of cut There's a weird clicking sound. There it is again. Is that the uh, 
Now our shim is loose. Yeah, the shim is loose. Well, that can't be good because the uh, nut is a bit misshaped by all the beatings it took. Um, things move a little when you tighten uh, it up. Yeah, it should be okay, and if not. It might get interesting. I took off uh, 45 hundredths of a millimeter. It still looks uh, pretty rough. Let's do the other side. That should be it. Let's take it out and uh, do a measurement. I've taken the uh, chuck off the lathe because it's uh, too hard to set up these uh, shims uh, on the lathe. Twenty four zero five, and it looks nicely parallel, and that last bit I will uh, take off with a stone. All right, let's do the other sides. That was the uh, last side. Let's uh, check the result. Even uh, with a new uh, tip, the finish is pretty poor. Twenty-four two, twenty-four five, twenty-four too much. Well, I guess it's good enough after all. And there it is a bit tight. Well, that should be good enough for another hundred year. I uh, switched to a different tool bit and I'm hoping this one will give a better finish. Um, because this nut will be in plain sight and uh, I want it to uh, look pretty. Much better. Still not perfect, but much better. Alright, I will now do the other sides. And that should be a little easier on this nut because this one is in a much better condition. The uh, chuck did okay, although uh, there seem to be some burrs inside these uh, threads here. It's uh, hard to turn at some points. Twenty-four, two, twenty-three, nine, and twenty-four, two, again. Well, that's good enough for anybody. Uh, 
that feels so much better. I no longer have to worry about stripping the nut. And of course, I can use the same spender on the tool post. Although uh, this tool might be easier to use as it clears the uh, bolt here. Maybe I'll do the same thing to my other lathe. Get rid of all those extra spanners that are laying around. Anyway, that's it for me. A nice uh, short video to uh, compensate for the uh, previous one. Um, to be continued.